Hey everybody, it's Bite Me back at it again with another video, and today we're going to be doing a little bit of an experiment. So everybody knows that the PlayStation 2 is the best-selling home console of all time, and one of the big reasons for that is the built-in DVD player. The fact that there was an affordable device that could play DVDs and play games was just absolutely groundbreaking at the time and really cemented the PlayStation as a entertainment company first and foremost. because. Who doesn't want to be able to play games and watch movies on the same device? Absolutely mind-blowing. But what a lot of people didn't know, especially myself, is that there was a PlayStation 2 branded DVD remote that you could get for the console. Now, this is the PlayStation 2 DVD remote. It has all your standard buttons on it, but if you notice, the bottom half of the, uh, the remote is pretty much a PlayStation 2 controller minus the analog sticks. You even have L3 and R3 on there, which is weird. I don't even know what that does in the DVD side of things. This works on all models of the PlayStation 2, aside from the fat models that don't have built-in IR. You actually had to get this little receiver in order to use it on the fat models. Anyway, ever since I got this remote, I've been looking at those PlayStation buttons and thinking to myself, hmm, I wonder if I can play games with the PlayStation 2 DVD remote. And that's what we're going to find out today. So I've picked out three games in particular that I figured we could try out that I'm pretty certain will work. Obviously, we're going to be very limited on the games that we can play. Um, anything with anal that requires analog sticks is obviously going to be out. So I figured we'd try Monopoly Party. Pretty standard, you know, D-pad, X button, circle <laughs> button, you know. Um, you don't really need anything fancy to do this. And honestly... This would, if the, if this works, this would probably be uh, an okay game to play on the PlayStation 2 DVD remote. The second game I want to try is Ford Racing 2. This is my favorite racing game for the PlayStation 2. Um, it does have analog controls, however, you should be able to play with just the D-pad and, you know, your standard button. And then the last game I figured we'd try is Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2, another kick-ass game for the PlayStation 2. This also has analog controls, however, you can use the D-pad and the standard PlayStation buttons to play this one as well. So I suspect this is going to work because technically this is a, a controller per se. I don't know if this would work on the slim models, but on the fat models where I have to plug in this adapter, I'm pretty certain this is going to work. So there's probably going to be some sort of limitations on this. I don't... I don't know if maybe maybe I'm not going to be able to press two buttons at once on the remote. Um, I know like some remotes you can. Um, that one I'm not expecting that to work. But anyway, let's just jump right into it. Let's get the camera turned around and get completely set up. So uh, don't mind me. I, I just I don't have a couch right now, so it's just kind of weird right now. So I'm sitting in my computer chair, but I will slide back a little bit just that way um, I can make sure I'm within range of this IRC receiver. So. Uh, let's go ahead and get that set up. So I'm going to unplug my controller extender here. Plug in my... Oh, is that going to fit in there? With the, oh, it's upside down. That's why. There we go. And then I also got two brand new batteries for my PlayStation 2 remote. Don't worry, I will be pulling these back out because I don't leave batteries and things that I don't use. Alright, well, uh, let's put in Ford Racing 2 first. Um, one thing I'd like to know, um, I'm looking for a Sony Trinitron right now, which is like the bee's knees of classic gaming. I'd really like to pick up one of those rather than playing a PlayStation 2 on a 4K television, which looks god-awful, may I add. Uh, the other thing is I'd really like to play some of my older games, such as my NES and my Super NES, uh, just because they would look better on that console, or on that screen, rather. Um, just because they look better on an actual tube TV. Uh, the only issue is I'll have to find one at some point. Let's see if it works. It's not responding to any input. God, I hope I don't get copyrighted for this music. Come on. Hmm. I don't know, maybe this receiver's bad. Never really thought about that. Okay, um, idea. Let me pull the disc out of this. The, the, the 
audience too must know that I'm using a TV remote or a, the DVD remote. But so okay, so it works here. Let's try a different game and see what happens. Um, this time I'm going to try Monopoly Party. Um, maybe this one will work. Okay, well, I guess we'll see what it does. Oh! Oh! Yes! Yes! It's going to work! Okay. I will say the, the reaction time from what I'm doing on the remote versus what's going on is not very enjoyable. So, you can play Monopoly Party with a PlayStation 2 DVD remote. Uh, let's try out Need for Speed. I might try some of my other racing games. Maybe it's just Ford Racing 2 in particular that doesn't like this remote for whatever reason. So, this will be interesting. I, since it didn't work on the other one, I don't know if it'll work on this one. I'm sure there's some other games. Oh, it's not reacting. Mmm, this is frustrating. It's like it works on one, but not on the other. Oh, there it goes. Okay. This is gonna be bad. I already know it's gonna be bad. Alright, so here we go. Playing on the PlayStation 2 DVD remote. Oh, I can't turn. Oh! Okay, so I can't do two buttons at once. I have to do like a dance between the X button and the steering. Oh god. Oh, this is horrible. I can't shake him. I can't go over 75. There you have it. You can play PlayStation 2 games with a PlayStation 2 DVD remote. Um, it is not enjoyable. There's a massive delay in the input, uh, so that sucks. Um, honestly, I would prefer the Logitech wireless controller compared to the PlayStation 2 DVD remote, but that's just my opinion. Um, the other thing is the D-pad is kind of annoying because it's got this little enter button in the center. Um, so I found myself having to jump across the remote in order to make inputs. So while it is possible to play PlayStation 2 games with the PlayStation 2 remote, there's limited uh, compatibility as you saw with Ford Racing 2, um, and certainly there's probably other games that it's not really, not really compatible with. Um, and surely there's some other games out there that it's not entirely compatible with, so um, if that bothers you, then you should buy something else.